Yes, today we are looking at um, the importance We are looking at the importance of eating raw onions. Yes. Many times we find eating raw onions more of a punishment than something we should find so friendly. So today I'm showing you reasons for eating raw onions. Let's see the benefits of that. Benefits of eating raw onions. When I speak of an onion, what do I mean? This is what I mean. An onion is here. It's an onion. Here they are small as they are very very important and today we are going to see why one should eat an onion this is how it appears from the garden uh, with its adventitia fruits these are skin leaves so what you do uh, before you have eaten it you have to remove these the skin leaves you remove these leaves which are dry we call them scary leaves. Remove scary leaves. How you can use a knife? You chop here. You chop here and remove like this. And as you remove them, you get a blue color inside. Onions are of very many types. This is a blue onion. Some are white, some are yellow, some are red. They have different colors. Yes, but for this case, I'm using the blue onion. Now, let us see what happens when you cut it. When you cut it, an onion has what you call the enzymes. Oh, now when you Let's divide it. As you divide it, the enzymes quickly uh, react with air and they produce a pungent, a pungent smell. The smell, this pungent smell, the pungent smell. The pungent smell is brought about by the enzymes here in the onion uh, that is activated when the cells are exposed into air. This smell makes our eyes dry. Yes. And it has no problem. No problem. I guess you've never seen anyone saying, I had an onion, I, I cut an onion now. I'm having issues in my eyes because I cut an onion. No. That's not how it is. So feel free to cut an onion like this. And uh, if, 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 if the enzymes make your eyes dry, it's okay. You later wash your, uh, wash your face and you become okay. Now, let's see. Why should one eat a raw onion? Just like this. I'm going to eat it and you see. Now for me, I'm using eating onions. It's something I do daily. So I can't find any problem eating it. I'm so, I'm so must you. Let us see. The benefits of eating a raw onion. So 
straight away. When you eat onions, the volume of blood in your body increases. Increases volume of blood. Volume of blood. Now, onions contain iron. This is a mineral. This mineral is very important in the formation of red blood cells. There is a component in the red blood cells that we call hemoglobin. 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 So why you eat onions? Why you eat onions? They contain iron, which iron is used in the making of red blood cells. Specifically, this part of red blood cells we call hemoglobin. You know, blood, blood has components. Blood has components. I'm just helping you to understand this. One of them is arabesis, red blood cells. We have white blood cells. We have blood platelets. We have uh, blood plasma. Blood plasma. Now, these red blood cells are manufactured in the bone marrow. In the bone marrow found in short bones. Red blood cells are manufactured in the bone marrow found in short bones. Now, what does this iron do? This iron goes to the bone marrow found in short bones and it aids the formation of these red blood cells. So, for the bone marrow to make red blood cells, it must need iron, which iron we get from eating onions. Now, someone is asking, then what's the function of hemoglobin? Let me rub this. Hemoglobin. This is what makes blood red. The color of blood is red. Everyone knows that. The component in blood, the pigment that makes blood red, is hemoglobin. And this is the this is the component in blood that carries gases. Hemoglobin carries gases. Yes, when it is carrying oxygen, it is the oxygen. Hemoglobin. When it is carrying carbon dioxide, it will be carboxyhemoglobin. Carboxyhemoglobin. Yes. Or specifically, it carries oxygen and carbon dioxide. Of course, from all over parts of the body, oxygen from lungs to the body, then the carbon dioxide from the cells after respiration has taken place, back to the lungs for excretion. Just like that. Let's go back to our family. For business, onions produce uh, iron, which iron is used by bone marrow to make hemoglobin. Which hemoglobin helps in the carrying of gases. Let me help you understand this better. You have ever seen someone suffering from malaria? Someone suffering from malaria breathes poorly, and the reason for for breathing poorly is that the red blood cells of that person are attacked. The hemoglobin part, the hemoglobin part is attacked by, by the plasmodia. Plasmodia. These are the organisms that cause that cause uh, malaria. So when hemoglobin is attacked, 
it will no longer pick oxygen from lungs properly. Now, when it fails to pick oxygen from lungs properly, the person begins breathing poorly. So that's a, it's, it's, it's also a sign of malaria. Local side, you can know that this person is suffering from malaria by looking at the way they breathe. The function number one was onions help in the formation of blood. Number two, onions contain calcium. Contain calcium. Now, let us see what's the function of calcium. Calcium is a mineral salt. And when you see mineral salts, uh, get to understand that mineral salts, uh, mineral salts help to strengthen the bone. Calcium strengthens the bone. Strengthen bone. Yes. It's a reason we say eat a raw onion daily. So as to make teeth strong. When you eat a raw onion daily, you improve the strength of teeth. Let's do this. This strength, the strength of the teeth. How? The onion contains calcium. This calcium is used by the body to make the bone strong, especially the teeth. Is that worth mentioning? Yes. The reason why we must eat raw onions to get the calcium which strengthens our bones, specifically the teeth. About the teeth. Calcium. Oh, no, no, no. Onions contain, um, contain uh, anti-inflammatory, anti-inflammatory compounds. Onions contain anti-inflammatory compounds and uh, onions contain vitamin C. Vitamin C. It as well contains um, antibacterial. Antibacterial, natural antibacterial. Let us see what is the function of anti-inflammatory compound. When the word inflammation, the skin getting burned. These are burning compounds in the body, in nature. So by saying anti-anti-inflammatory compounds, we mean that the onion has compounds which stop inflammatory. Vitamin C. This vitamin C is very, very important in the making the gums strong. For people whose gums are always bleeding, please bite one onion a day. Just like that. By biting one onion a day, you are increasing the amount of vitamin C. And this one is very sharp. This one will increase the strength of the gums. And we shall have solved the breathing of the gum. No more gum breathing. Yes, no more gum breathing. What are the functions of the antibacterial found in the, in the onions? Let me teach you about this. How many of us have found that onion rotting? An onion takes long to rot. It only rots when it is very, very exposed to very cold conditions, like freeze conditions. That's why we don't keep them in fridges. We don't destroy an onion, they are keep it in fridges. Now, I'll show you. I want you to understand this. That for rotting to take place, for rotting to take place, rotting which other people may call decomposition, decomposition, 
For routing take place or for the composition take place, there must be two elements, that is fungi and bacteria. These are the agents of rotting. Now, here we have an onion which has antibacterial, 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 natural antibacterial. These elements will inhibit bacteria from doing what it's supposed to do. Now, in the mouth, we have the teeth, we have canines, we have incisors, we have um, molars, of course molars, we have premolars and molars themselves. Now, especially between molars and premolars, between molars and premolars, let me assume that this is um, this is a premolar, this is a molar. In between here, in between here, when we eat food, it comes and hides here. It comes and gets embedded here in these these small spaces. So when we brush teeth, we only remove food that is stuck here. The brush we use to brush our teeth only removes food particles which keep here. But the food particles which go as far as this are not removed by the brush. So this one causes let me go down this. Yeah, this one causes um, what we call tooth decay. Tooth decay. Now, this decaying is the one I told you. Decay. So that decaying gets what decomposition. The only way you can stop this decaying from taking place is by eating raw onions. Because raw onions contain antibacterials, these antibacterials will kill the bacteria which will have aided the rotting of um, the rotting of this food here. Because it is food which first rot, while this food is rotting, the bacteria will attack, attack these parts of the tooth. Eventually, you will feel you have a hole somewhere here. You begin rotting holes in your teeth. It begins like that. So the onion, the compound, the onion come down to this area and they kill the bacteria in between the teeth. And this helps your teeth to keep fine. This material won't be removed, but it won't be dangerous to your, to your teeth. Of course, you must have seen some people who have dirty teeth, looking so bad, but their teeth are not shaking, their teeth are not rotting. Why? The food, the dirt which is there, does not contain bacteria, does not contain germs. I'm not saying it is supposed to be like that, but that's how it is. So we have seen, helps in manufacturing blood. That's number one. Number two, onions strengthen the teeth. Strengthen the teeth because they contain calcium. Here they, they help in the manufacture of blood because they contain uh, iron. Now they keep the, the health of teeth, uh, make teeth healthy, make teeth and the mouth, including the gums, make. Let's say control to decay, prevent. Prevent tooth decay. I'm sorry to say, very many people, especially the educated people, so highly educated people, have suffered from tooth decay. Why they were complaining a girl of 13 years, a girl of 25 years, a man of 28 years, highly educated, is suffering from tooth decay, and it's a real problem. But these are people who brush teeth each and every day, each and every morning. Brushing does not remove the bacteria from the teeth. It just removes the food particles from where the brush, brush can reach. But the brush does not reach each and everywhere. So how we 
use all of this, get a raw onion, eat it there, especially when you are going to sleep. Or maybe if you are not a person who speaks to many people because you have this smell that people dislike, what you can do, yeah, you make sure you eat it uh, when you are sure you want to speak to some people. Or else, health is a gift. Eat it and tell people, speak to me at a distance because I've eaten an onion. Say, excuse me, hey, I've eaten some onion. Will you mar do you mind speaking at a distance so I, d I don't want this smell to reach you? They understand. You will come back with positive results. Blood strengthen the teeth. Uh, then they prevent tooth decay. Let us see. This is very important. For men whose sexual desire is very low, you can call it sexual desire. Someone can call it libido. Yes. Yeah, onion boosts. It boosts the production of testosterone. Testosterone. Onion boosts the production of testosterone, a hormone necessary for increasing libido. Yes, putting aside all other, other factors, if you don't have testosterone, then you can never have that sex drive. So, onions help in the production of testosterone by the testicles. By the testicles. Maybe I can simplify this by a small diagram. This is testicle. Inside here are such structures. And this is a test, this is testis. Yes, this is testis number one, testis number two. This is testis. Now, these two tests, when this one is the testis, when there are many, we call them tests. This is now when there are many tests. When there is one testis, testis, when there are many tests, then this whole thing is testicle. Yes, much as this sack is scrotum. 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 Good. Now, this is a sperm duct. Sperm, uh, sperm duct. This is it. Now, the function of the testis is to produce sperm. The production, the, the, the function of testis is to produce, produce sperm cells. Sperm cells. But to produce the sperm cells, it requires elements like vitamin K. It requires, it requires elements like vitamin E. It requires elements like B6, B9. And all these elements are present in the onion. So if you lack K, E, B6, B9, forget about production of sperms. The sperms are produced here and then stored somewhere here. So in this store, your store of sperm we call a epididymis. Or the epididymis, the store of sperm in the testis. If you lack uh, these elements, K, E, B6, B9, automatically the testis won't produce sperm and your store will contain nothing. Now, if your store contains nothing, this means the testosterone we have no work to do. Yes. What is now? What is your testosterone going to do when your store has nothing? Eventually, you won't have that drive for sex. I'm appealing to men to start eating one raw onion a day. Now, let's talk about hair. Ladies' hair. Onions boost. They boost. The rigidity of hair. You see, hair is supposed to be strong and stiff. Yes, 
And for hair to be strong and stiff, it requires a mineral we call sulfur. Sulfur. And this sulfur is present in the onion. So for those who take onion, raw onions, they have enough sulfur. Let me give you something small. Before you have bathed, get onions. Here they are. They have a nickel substance. Your head, get a little substance and rub it in your head like this. Rub it so much of it, rub it in your head like this before you have bathed, before you have cleaned your, your, your hair. Spend like uh, 10 minutes now. After 10 minutes, go bathe. And uh, at the beginning of the bathing, don't put here, uh, don't, don't put here uh, soap. After bathing, within 5-10 minutes, you will experience your hair having become rigid, strong, having become strong and stiff. And this is what everyone needs. Hair shouldn't be falling off like, no, 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 no. So, eating raw onions prevents hair from falling off. Why? Onions contain sulfur, which sulfur makes hair strong and stiff. I guess it's a bit built ladies. Here we go. Another function, there are million functions of eating onions. If you didn't know. And now that you have known, you must eat. It prevents, it makes, makes skin supple. Makes skin supple. Yeah, skin is not supposed to be scaly. No. So when you have enough vitamin C, before we say onions contain vitamin, vitamin C and vitamin K. Vitamin C and vitamin K plus uh, B6 and B9. This vitamin C prevent the skin from being scary. Yes, keep the skin fresh. Yes, 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 yes. Then uh, this K, um, this vitamin K, when, when it works with vitamin C, they make the skin supple. When I say supple, the skin has to be soft and, and bending. Soft and bending. Yes, the skin has to be soft and bending. And this one is done by the help of vitamin C and vitamin K. You know that? Yes, make the skin supple. Mm, 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 mm. Wonderful. Let's talk about the heart. How do onions help the heart? The heart. Now, we have what we call blood vessels. Blood vessels. I think most of us know what blood vessels are. These are tubes through which blood flows through. But because of our poor feeding habits, here builds some substance inside these blood vessels. And this substance here that builds inside the blood vessel here, we call it cholesterol. Cholesterol. Take it with H. With H here. Cholesterol. This this cholesterol should be should be washed away. And this is nothing other than fat. This is fat. This is bad fat. Bad fat. Yes. So this should be washed away. Now, let's see what happens when you have a lot of cholesterol inside here. The space that the blood should have used is reduced. So blood is going to be passing here. Here, Mr. Hart is overworked because the space here is not enough. The heart will pump the blood. So they have to use a lot of energy to pump the blood through these vessels. Why? Because the space has been reduced. So, what we call this? High blood pressure. You know, as you reduce space, in science we say, uh, pressure increases with decrease in space. Pressure increases with decrease in space. So the space decreases, pressure will increase. 
should should stress should stress increase pressure will decrease by increasing the stress by removing this pressure look here let's now assume it's like this blood now is passing here the heart will not do a lot of work pushing blood through here no here the heart does a lot of work work is too high here the heart does less work and here the person experiences high blood pressure here the person experiences normal blood pressure here the person is experiencing normal blood pressure and we feel okay who removes this bad fat the cholesterol mr onion it's an onion the onion has flavonoids which kill away all this this one this bad fat is killed it can only be obtained from eating raw fats oh sorry raw onions eat raw onions one onion a day and the results will be wonderful what else should i tell you about onions that you would like to know wonderful what onions are just wonderful i can't miss eating an onion a day and the 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 the, the, the best way is soak it by soaking it 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 can go away any other function here i don't find another better function apart from that so let's go eat raw onion so now eat a raw onion come on what's wrong with my thing eat raw onion a day and save your life good day happy sunday